Deuteronomy 21, 12. Vahaveta el toch betecha, vegilecha et rosha, veaseta et tziporneha. So we've got here again a uh, vav consecutive on the perfect. This time we're looking at a hifil, a hifil perfect 2ms of the verbal root bo. And uh, notice we, we drop the middle vav, and in the hifil we get the seri thematic vowel because of the third aleph. So we've got a few things that are a little bit different here. We've got the ta suformative still, and then we have this 3fs pronominal suffix, and you cause her to come would be the idea, but this is better expressed in English as and you bring her. And you bring her. Now, I mentioned this was a uh, vav consecutive on a perfect or a vecatal, but you might think differently because you're not seeing the schwa right here. But remember that if we have a schwa already in that first position, and then we add another schwa to it, uh, we have what I call a schwa fight, and we end up losing the initial schwa, and it becomes the short vowel that is associated with the hadif patak. So that is indeed a vekatal form, even though you're not seeing the schwa under the vav. So let's move along here. And you bring her to the midst of your house. So this kind of completes the vecatal forms that are in this uh, hypothetical situation. And we switch now. We still have vecatal forms in the next two, but notice they become third feminine singular forms. Both of these are third feminine singulars. And so this, I think, is where we get the shift to then. Then she shall shave, direct object marker, her head. This verb is a PL. PL perfect third feminine singular now of the verbal root galach. She shall shave her head and she shall do, direct object marker, her nails. Tziporneha. Now the verb down here we know is uh, asa. So we have third hey verb there. It is a third feminine singular form with that vav consecutive or the vecatal. And so uh, when you bring her to the midst of your house, uh, as a result of all of these uh, vecatal forms that have been continuing, then we get the apotesis, she shall shave her head and do her nails. Now, with do, asa here, halot, let me see if I can get this right, halot section 7c uh, actually lists this verse as uh, to make ready as to make ready or to prepare. So it sounds funny, and do her nails, which is kind of the way we might think about it, but here it would be something more like to prepare or to make ready or even to cut her nails.